Oh, hi, Christy. My name is Stacy. This is my boyfriend, Bradley. I'm sorry, what? My name is Stacy. I got my boyfriend, Bradley, on the phone. Say hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi baby. Hi. Hey, we, we were just wondering... <laughs> Um, we were just wondering how much it costs tonight. Um, you can either go by the game, or you guys can do unlimited. Okay, because um, actually... Unlimited is... Okay, I don't Unlimited really usually is from 9 to 11. And it's $13 a person. It covers okay, you know what? Actually, I, I don't care about the prices. Can we, um, just... We're kind of poor, and it's our, um, 10-year anniversary... And uh, <laughs> and uh, we were just wondering if we could come in and just start bowling. If you guys, uh, I mean, we have turn, lanes. Turn the other cheek and and not notice that we're doing it for free. Yeah, we just kind of go in and you know we'll set the pins up ourselves. We have our own. No. <laughs> that we will. I wish I could do that, but the computer won't even allow me to do that. Oh, but no, no, no! You don't have. To. We have our own pins. And we have like a tarp that we put down so none of the pins actually go down in that. No. <laughs> I'm serious. And we just like set up our own pins. I mean, we do it at home, but we're trying to have like the atmosphere and stuff. So can we just, we're, you know what, honey, baby, should we just go ahead and do that? I think we should. But I mean, it'd be okay. cool if we could get her approval first. I, I don't think we're getting her approval. And, unless you do. Yeah, I don't That's think my boss would like that. <laughs> But who can, do it secretly? Listen, could you just take money no, out of the register? Here, she would know. <laughs> Not if you're sneaky. Come on. No. <laughs> also, we're a nudist family. Is that going to be a problem? Oh, I'm sure she wouldn't like that either. <laughs> well, it's it's a religious reason, so you can't well, deny us. Yeah, we're we're really actually um, really kind of attractive. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're totally hot, so no one's going to complain. Yeah, I, mean, I think my boss would have a coronary if she. <laughs> Well, kind of funny, but I'll I'll wear my lingerie. He can wear his boxers. Oh. <laughs> why Why are okay. you laughing? You're making me feel. You don't have to be like a. a you don't have to make fun of us. She's about laughing this. at my penis. No. <laughs> no, he's actually really, really large. Like it kind of hurts sometimes. Oh, you guys I'm are still funny. sensitive, and I don't need to be laughed at. <laughs> I've already gotten laughed at about my haircut today. So fuck you, lady. Okay. Okay. Have a great night, then. No, 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 don't go. Actually, I just wanted to say one more thing. Okay. I was playing along with it for a while. It was, you know. Was no, wait, wait, wait. I gotta one, go because there's one customers more thing. at the desk. Just one more thing. What? Just one more thing. Just one more. One more. Just hold on. One more thing. Okay. Don't hang up. <laughs> <laughs> did she hang up? Yeah, she did. Actually, um, that was kind of fun. Let's, I, I don't know. She kind of, I think she kind of, uh, knew it was a prank call. I, I don't, I, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know. It seemed pretty, it sounded pretty, pretty legit to me. <laughs> it sounded legit to me, too. I'm just going to tell them we already did. Is this airline to speaking? Hey, is, is this a bowling alley? Yes. Oh, okay. We were actually there uh, a few hours ago. Uh huh. And uh, we didn't actually pay. I've got my boyfriend, uh, Brad, uh, not Roy, Roy on the line. And um, I'm sorry, Roy, not Brad. Saying. You what? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we were just there a few hours ago, and we're really sorry because we kind of put a tarp down and just kind of bowled our own game with our own pins from home. And we just want to say sorry for not paying. But we had all of our own equipment. So. Okay. Um, yeah, we were there when you guys were, like, really, really busy. And we were hoping, you know, you didn't notice. And you guys didn't even notice. And um, we're sorry. Um, how much would it what, game? <laughs> what time did you come in and bowl? It, it was, like, a few hours. Honey, what time? Maybe a few hours ago? I um, think we both have three. Alzheimer's pretty bad, so. Yeah, two or three hours, something like that. Maybe seven. I think it was four. I think you don't know what you're talking about, so shut up. It was two or three. Don't get smart. Wow. Hang on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> did, she, did she go? Yeah, she, I think she knew. Oh, all right. You're on, talking about it. You're on, hey. you're on the air. 
Wow. They're so excited was... that we're talking about them. <laughs> yes! Yay! Like, oh, that's so awesome. I saw that you're subscribed. You need new, uh... Isn't that cool? Yeah, thank you. Thanks for being a fan. Yeah. I'm a troll. You should check out my YouTube channel. Oh, I'm you're a fan, dude. You're, you're no, my... no, no, well... All right, hold, hold on. We, we've, we've actually got a show to, to do here, so shut the fuck up. What's that ringing? Ah, my... What a wonderful fan! Yeah, yeah. Yay. It's supposed to be a gas station, but nobody's answered. I'm going to tell them to stop selling their cigarettes. That was fun when we did that. Is this the same gas station? No. No, it's in Fresno. Do you, you want to call the same one? Oh, no. Not really. No. I mean, like, if you want to, sure. But, I don't know, he was just yelling and hanging out. Yeah, I guess that's kind of boring. Although it's very nice for me. I'm, I'm just going to connect a lot of gas stations together because that's always fun. Eventually, I don't think I can handle being on the phone much longer. I'm tired. Oh, you're going to be pussy about energy. it? Yeah, I'm not going to stop this. Is it your vasectomy? Yeah, yeah, it's really, hey, you know, to me tonight. Hello? Thank you for calling Pizza Patrol. We have to either on it away from our desk at this time. To leave a message in our general mailbox, please. Oh, hey, sorry about that. I'm just calling a whole bunch of gas stations. I, I just wanted one of them to answer. Thanks for answering. Hey, how much are your... Hello, Yeah, how Hello? much are... How much are the camel cigarettes? Hello? How much are the camel cigarettes? Hello? How much are the camel cigarettes? <laughs> Hello? How... Sir, can you hear me? Wow. You know what this is? Yeah. Sucky. Hello. Hi. Hey, I think actually God is mad at me right now because I just kind of... Um, picked on a guy that had multiple bypasses and a kid whose dad died and I made yeah, fun of you deserve everything people that and it's too long. So I, I hope, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, how much are the camel cigarettes? Camel cigarettes? Yeah, just totally ignore all that shit that I said yeah, before. Yeah, camel, camel crash or camel menta? Both of them. And you can drop yeah. the attitude, sir. What the fuck? I need both, both Why? prices. Uh, five eighty-six. Five eighty-six. That does not it's match the, uh, our computer. I'm actually. Oh, God. <laughs> I think God is punishing me. Yeah, I'm gonna hang up and let you suck by yourself. Well, that's what she said. Brunch. Don't go, Brad. There's only 22 minutes left. That's such a long time. So much time to suck some more. That's what she, That's said. What she said. Oh, my God. Come on, Brad. You know how many, like, fucking after shows I got suckered into? Come on, Rocky. Yeah. Just 10 more minutes. Yeah, last week. <laughs> you were up to, like, like, wasn't it, like, 4 in the morning for you or something? Yeah, it was so fucking late. Like, I didn't even have to. You kept wanting to go, and I kept making you stay. You're like, one more. And then you talked to Walgreens and stuff. Yeah, and like, hey, hey, Rob. Rob, I can't even hear you. Turn your radio. Hey, Roxy. Ah, hey, what's up, buddy? Hello? Just listening to you guys. Hi, Rob. Damn it. I'm so dumb. All of them. All these people I prank call, I'm done. I don't want to talk to these faggots. This is Frederick Powers that we're calling. Frederick. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say the name. Am I on drugs? Please leave your message for 8013. Am I on drugs, Rob? I didn't just say his fucking name. That was stupid. Alright, I'm gonna call this other person. It might be Space Vice. I'm gonna call him. Good evening. Time for Ginger Moon to review your insurance. Good driver and package discounts on home, <sighs> auto, boat, and cycle coverage. And in That was a great number, Space Bison. Screw you. Screw everyone. 
I'm going to play this really, really funny fucking... Well, if you got nothing else, I found my... I'm, I found I'm the falling call apart. To, I was going to play one of my... Um, I found the call to Weather Girl where we give her free phone sex. People can listen to that for a couple minutes. It's like five minutes long. Oh, okay. I was going to play one of mine. I'm. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to end this show. That's it. Um, we're going to play the call... You know, I guess you have to do it over your, uh, over Skype. Can you do it? We're just, we're just going to play calls and pass fun shows all night. And actually, Rob and I, we did a lot of calls this, just last week, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think. You should have just cut up those clips, Roxy, and talked about them in between, in between playing them. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually what I'm going to do, um, if you guys stay tuned... I'm going to play those new calls that we did. Uh, they're posted at cactiradio.com slash fun show. And uh, I'm just going to play those. I sound like I'm about to cry. Roxy, we should just after show with that and turn that into a show and just dump this one in the trash. <laughs> yeah, we should, we should just play those. And, Talk in uh, the middle of them and uh, not take any calls and, and then just make that into a podcast. You know what, though? I actually didn't download any of the subway calls. I heard some of them last night. Oh well, I have I have them in an, I have them in an easy to get to place, but there's so many others that we did the other week that would be that are even better. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking for the inappropriate dentist call right now because I'm totally disorganized, and we also have the soundproof studios. We called up the studio and. Well, why don't you look for that, and I'll just play this weather girl call because I really don't feel like editing it. Okay, play it right now. This is Roy from SexyVoices.com. One of your friends has just ordered you ten prepaid minutes of phone sexy fun. Ew. Ew. That's weird. That is fucking weird. Why is that weird, baby? Ew, because you sound fucking weird. Look, girl. I'm Ew, don't call me girl. Ew. <laughs> I'm here to excite your world. Oh, you sound black, so you're definitely not exciting me. <laughs> oh my god, a racist. Like employees hold you back? Yeah, I like white guys. May I ask, by chance, what it is you have against the brothers? Um, I guess I'm racist. Girl, what you don't know is I am hung like a track. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you got a problem with big cocks? Yeah, I have a problem with big cocks. Are you a little tiny white girl? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say I'm tiny, but that's weird. Oh, how many pounds you weigh, baby girl? Ew, I'm so not telling you. Girl, you sound fine. What you look like? Um, I don't fucking know. I look like a girl. I don't know. You don't know what you look like, girl. You don't got a. Ew! Why are you talking like that? <laughs> Where the fuck are you from? Why are you saying girl like you're fucking gay? Like girl, you better shut up. That's what you fucking sound like. <laughs> you should not record right. yourself and listen. Uh, it's right. funny. All right, mama. Tell me. When you look. Mama. At me, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? Um, I don't know. I don't see. I don't know. I don't see me standing next to a black guy. That's for sure. You can't see us, girl, unless you got the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fucking weird. Look, Mama, if I was standing behind you, I would definitely overshadow you. I got big, scintillating muscles. Um, you probably would overshadow me because you're black. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this my cock would overshadow you. Listen, Mama, I just want to know, what kind of man are you looking for? Not a black one, so I mean, if you want to end this call, I'm kind of on my way out the door. You're on your way out the door. I yeah, like I'm, you know, I'm home. I'm going to leave. Can I know you don't understand white girl talk, but that's white girl talk. Can I ask you something, girl? What? Can I get, really? in, can I get in your back door? Um, actually, no. <laughs> Look, I could have one of my boys call you back later. Maybe one that's a little more fair skinned 
for a little white flower yeah. such as yourself? Mm, nah, I'm good. Oh, come on. I know, Ew, I know you, a lot of how vanilla. How do you even get my number? How do you even get my number? That's so weird. I know a lot of vanilla crackers who would look really good up against your alabaster skin. Vanilla crackers. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Girl, if you're heading out, well, make sure, make sure oh, you got girl. an umbrella. Make sure you got an umbrella, because uh, you never know. What's the weather like where you are? <laughs> Oh my god, are you the weather people that are calling me? I'm just asking you. You said you'd be going out, so I'm just asking you what you're gonna be what you're gonna be wearing and whether or not it's gonna be weather appropriate. Ew! <laughs> you hear the way you just fucking said that? Weather appropriate? <laughs> Tell me. Yo, that's classic. That's classic. Oh. What is the weather like, bitch? The weather's like your mama. Oh, man. That would mean that it, the weather is bad. Hot and greasy. Ooh, my mama tastes like a raw piece of chicken skin. Fucking ugly ass big black <laughs> Like mama. KFC. That's what I'm eating right now. That's what I was eating. My mama, my mama, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good movie. What? Well, is that what your mama looks like? Mama kind of looks like that. She's got like good little skin. Yeah. <laughs> my mama got diabetes. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Maybe you can help out my mama. You know how to, you know what? How to give insulin shots? <laughs> well, what? Do you know how to give insulin shots to my mama? Nah, I don't do those. Uh, can I ask you something? What do you do for a profession? I'm a prostitute. What else do you think? Prostitute? Girl, you ever think about doing own sex? <laughs> Definitely not, because I, like, I would sound like a fucking idiot like you do right now. Nah, girl, you got a good voice. You got a voice for Oh. No, I, I actually, I actually sound like a ten-year-old on the phone. Well, so, I mean, if you're a pedophile, I, I would have a good voice. Yeah. Let me tell you, girl, we got lots of kinky guys that call into our service and want some really crazy shit. That's cool. You know why you're calling me for private? I want to call you for what, girl? From private, you know, like restricted. Oh, girl, we got a call center. Yeah, it's, we just need to dial out. We don't have like an end number. Is this charging me right now? Because, you know, I don't really want to be charged to be talking to somebody like you. Baby, it's all free, paid for, except after 10 minutes, and then it's 99 minutes. After the first minute, it's 49 minutes. Um, that's weird. Yeah, but we've only been on the phone for six minutes. <laughs> oh, you know, it's all, all good. So, who prepaid for me? <laughs> uh, I can't tell you that because it's a secret. It's a secret? Yeah, girl. I don't like secrets. Well, can I ask you something? Who would be the girl in your troop who would be down with getting you some prepaid phone sex? Wait, I can't, I can't understand you. I'm driving and my window's down and you need to talk a little louder. Which one of your girls in your crew would buy you something like that? <laughs> I love the way you, you do that, Rob. Is that you? Uh, yeah, my friends? Yeah. Which one of your friends um, would buy you We should play the calls and just talk over them. Probably, like yes or no. probably none of them. Look, look, I can't give you her name, but I can tell you <laughs> which one of your girlfriends bought you a little time with me. If you say her name. Oh, send this to me. Yeah, that's weird. Um, I don't really have any girlfriends. Um. Oh, never mind. He said he didn't want to. I have a wife. Mm -hmm. I have a wife. I have a wife, but I don't think she would do it. Because she's my wife. You got a girl, you lesbian? Yeah, I got a wife. I know you're jealous. Yeah. She fine? Hell yeah. Well, 
does she look like? You finer than any of the bitches you've been with? I've been with, I've been with some freaking fly honey girl. Well, my bitch is a ten all day. Your bitch is a ten? Is it done, Rob? Is it done being funny? Of the <laughs> I don't know, it's like what? a minute left. Okay, okay. Tell her charging her for it. Now, she's my wife. She's mine. She, she, she like a little, little curious. No, she's my wife. Uh, yeah, what does she look like? She looks like a fucking dime piece. And you wouldn't even know her. Wait, you got a picture of her? Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna send it to you. That's fucking weird. Oh, uh, girl, she sounds nice. Yeah, it's so fucking maybe, weird to send pictures over the internet. Well, her name's Seven, and you're not calling her. I thought she was a 10. What? I thought you said she was a 10. Her name is Seven. Okay, so her name is Seven, but you said she is a 10. Yeah. Give her the show info. It sounds like a what name? It sounds like a boy's name. Yeah, well, you didn't ask me if I was a boy. Is your name uh, Susan? Huh? I don't think Peter's your name. So is your name really Susan? My name ain't Susan. Is your name Jill? No. Is your name Jackie? No. Your name, I thought you said only one minute left. Name, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't edited nope. it. It's your name. Sharice. <laughs> that one? <laughs> well, girl, I, I, I don't want to keep playing this guessing game with you. I know your name ain't Peter, so what is it? It's Andrea. Andrea. Oh, actually, it is Andrea. Nice. That sounds, that's, that's a good little cracking name. I remember it now. How tall are you? <laughs> um, I'm four foot. Girl, you ain't four foot. Now you be like a fucking bitch. <laughs> How do you know about a bitch? Telling it like it is. A lot of bitches can tell you. Hey, what's up? Hey, don't sure. shut up, Corwin. called me and then I call him back and he hung up. Whatever. A what? I got a face full radio. Rob, you're what lying to me like you lied to Brad last night. You're fucking ugly. Oh, damn it. He's on the phone. I was calling Fractal. Oh. I think this call is over, Rob. Okay. My, my right. attention span is... So, I'll oh. see you later. Yeah, 
actually we're up to 13 minutes, so we're actually up to uh, uh, $67.57. That will be billed directly to your uh, home phone line. That'll be what? That will be billed to your service provider. <laughs> Perfect timing. She pretty, she pretty much hangs up at that point. Yeah, I was like, I think this call is over, and then it's ending. Um, I'm going to call Fractal a little bit, but... Yeah, I think your idea is pretty awesome, Rob. We're, we should just, like, play the prank calls and talk over them. Like, ex you know? And I'm going to edit out all the bullshit about where we, like, totally failed. And this is going to be, like, our real show. There you go. For, it's a 30... It's We're going to do this for probably, like, 30 more minutes. So... Um, Sounds like a plan. And we're going to comment on them. And then I'm... If you guys stay tuned after the after show, for the after after show, I'm going to play the calls without our stupid commentary. So if you want to hear it again, just stay tuned. And I'm going to play all the fun shows all night until Brad takes the stream back. So let's start with the, um, we should start with the Chinese food place. We, um, we called this Chinese restaurant because on Yelp it said that they were, Extremely rude. Actually, I think in the call I actually explained that. Um, hang on, Rob. I, I got to make sure you can hear it. Yep. Okay. Are we are we live on the air? Yeah, but I I had to change the stereo mix. That's fine. I just mean, are we uh, are we live on the air for the uh, podcast? Oh yeah, we're oh for the podcast. Yes. We're live on the air unless you are listening to this in a podcast. Or I replay this on a later date. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you what the date is or the time. So It'll be a surprise. Yeah. So this is a Chinese restaurant. Oh, I, I wanted to say that uh, when uh, I first saw this Yelp review, when you first showed it to me, I thought that... Um, it had to be like a one-time thing. Like, you know, you get the one person who's like this crazy old lady who works there who's, you know, doesn't understand how phone numbers work. Yeah, and it but, was back in 2007, too, and it's like been four years. Yeah, right. So maybe since then they've gotten the message that people have more than one phone. Well, <laughs> we call them up, and they are dead set on continuing this practice. <laughs> If, apparently, if you call with the wrong phone number, they will not let you order. This is and just to be clear, the wrong phone number is any phone number besides the phone number you called from. Right. So they actually have your phone number on caller ID. They could rewrite it down and just use that phone number. But instead, they insist on you repeating your phone number and making sure it matches. It's an identity matching system that they have. All right. Um, you guys just listen. You'll you'll see what happens. Okay. I'm going to give them the phone show number. Or? Yeah. I'm gonna give them hey, Fractal. Phone. They can't hear us. <laughs> Fractal? I hope they answer. Fractal. Oh, hi. I wanted to... I, I, I'm here. I'm here. My phone just muted for a second. Um, I was on listen-only yeah, listen mode for those of you who know what that is from the old ATT teleconferences. Uh, is it okay? Well, we're playing a yeah. call. They can't hear us. Huh? Okay, so my phone number is 505. I'm playing the call. You can probably hear it in the background. I'm calling from 505. Not this one. Sorry. <laughs> what? I Not this the one. You are calling from... But I'm just borrowing my friend's phone. This is not the phone that I want you to call me back. Wait, if you already know what phone number I'm calling from, why are you asking me? Oh, Frackle, you got off cam. Wait, 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 wait. Fine, fine, fine. My phone number. Write it down. 484. Yes. 240. the wrong one. Zero. 4151. <laughs> I gave her the totally yeah. wrong number. What is your problem with the phone number? Not if you know what the phone number is, why are you asking me what my phone number is? If I want to order someone to come to order, okay? Hong Dong Ping Chong. Same name. I I don't know what you order. 
Oh, well, Franco, no, he's, um, you, have you been okay? Listen, I'm calling from my friend's phone number. My phone number, mm -hmm. I've ordered there I'll before. And I want to use my phone number, not my friend's phone number. She spoofed the number. You an idiot? <laughs> we did. I think we tried. I only want you to give me the phone number you are calling from. Right now, you And she knows what number I'm calling from, too. I'm giving you a callback number. Hello, please uh, check your number. Yeah, okay. Oh, I just checked my number. No, I don't. I don't understand why she wants me to just repeat the number that she already knows. I, I think they think it, but if you call the, if calling from a different number, if you give them a different number than the one they're calling, they're being cranked or something. They, they apparently don't understand the concept of being able to call from one number, but then also having another phone. Yeah, you can do it this time. This happened back in 2007. This has been their policy for four years. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, I'd like uh, to place an order for pickup. Okay. Yeah. Do you need my phone number? Yeah. Yeah. Five of them. No. I want a phone number, you are calling from three. Okay, yeah, okay. Do you have a manager there or something? Because my wife just called in here, and you told her that we couldn't give you our phone number. <laughs> Hello? I like your dress, Roxy. No, I want the phone oh, number. thank you. Fractal, do you like my dress? What? Do you like my dress? Yeah, I did. I saw it. Yeah, I did like it. I'm not in front of the computer right now. I'm actually downstairs hanging out with my cat. I'm trying not to wake up my roommates. Hey, cat's more important than me. I understand. Hey, Rice and Roni, do you understand? Do you want me to go back on cam? Because I'll do it for you. Aw, only if you want to. If you come to pick up, please, uh, come into order, okay? <laughs> you don't have to. Rob's got his cat on cam. Please, hold on one moment. I'm so paranoid. I'm like, she's talking about us. <laughs> That's what it always sounds like. I'm going to totally do a legit order. And then... How does the KFC? Did it taste good? Oh my god, yes, it did. I loved it. Did you have to go to a, lo a low income area to buy it? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> no. AKA downstairs. Do you want it? There actually is a KFC yes, really I close. Just checked. You go, did you go pick up? Pick up. Hey, well, Fractal, you should put on a dress yeah, for me. You already have it. But I, I put on a dress for you. Two four zero. Wait, what? Not for you, but you should put a dress on for me. Four zero five zero. It does look very nice. Put a dress on for me. Yes. My name is Stacy. How do you like my sweatshirt? I wore it just for you. <laughs> put a dress on. I want to see you in a dress. I want 40 egg rolls. Four egg rolls. No. Four zero. Four zero egg rolls. Chicken egg rolls. Huh? Chicken. Buck muck. <laughs> Buck muck. Chicken. Ch chicken. Chicken. No chicken egg roll. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> egg roll. Only one egg roll or uh, or uh, egg roll. Oh, oh god. Fine. <laughs> Fine. What? Whatever egg roll you want to give me, just whatever. Egg roll with a uh, rose pot on. Fine. With a uh, white the bowl. There is egg roll. And spring roll is the only white the bowl. Shut up. Give me 40 egg rolls. <laughs> you have <laughs> tater tots. <laughs> is this streaming? 40 egg rolls. Yeah, it's streaming. You want 40 egg rolls? Cool. 
It's fine. I don't care. It's not for me anyway. Forty. Forty pieces. Okay. Okay. Also, do you have tater tots? Hello. Okay. One moment. Oh God. God, she sounds so annoyed. Are you going to spit in my food? Ma'am. Anything else? Yes. I want tater tots. Hey, do you have Mexicans cook your food or Chinese people cook your food? Hello? Okay, one moment, one moment, one moment. Oh. <laughs> one moment, one moment, one moment. Good. Lady. Lady. God, I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, you come to pick up the bed. You hey, only, that's, uh, that's bring your car come in and uh, bring your ID. No, I'm not bringing my ID. This is not alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, please uh, come in to order, okay? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want. Hello, you? Yeah, can I place an, I want to place an order for a uh, pickup. What is your phone number? My phone number is 555-1234. Hello, sir. Don't yeah. play games, okay? If you want to play games, okay, you call the police, okay? The police will help you. I gave you my phone number. 555 Hi, yes. Hi, Oh. That's the dental call. I started playing the dental call, but, um, yeah, apparently that Chinese lady says, um, you have to bring in an ID to order Chinese food. <laughs> They, they have they have a lethal they have lethal lethal le- levels of MSG in there and they need to know that you're a consenting adult before you eat it. But you guys don't under oh hey fractal. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Okay. Hey. I just learned with so um, I haven't been like chatting on IRC that much because I've been busy with school. Uh, what's the deal with like the, this website? Is it like other PLA people or is it like okay. someone else completely? It's it's like these people that wanted to have their own forums because they didn't like the phone losers forums because the phone losers forums are heavily moderated. So they went to do their own forums, but instead of just being happy with having their own forums and this is America and you can do whatever the fuck you want, they still want to harass us and, like, bring down our show. But all they're doing, and they did this to Brad, too, all they're doing is just making our show, like, more popular and, you know... Adding spice to it. Yes, they've given so, like, the phone. Who's like the leader? Is there like a leader or anything? Like, what's his handle? Um, I forgot his handle. I don't know. Okay. But he's not important enough to know his name. It's it's yeah. um, it's phone it's phonewinners. dot com. Um. Look, we're yeah, I know. I, I, I looked at it. It looked like somebody made it over a weekend or something. If you go, to it looks like the shittiest it. HTML template ever. They have a um, they have a phone number on the side there. If you want to talk to them, you just call them anytime. Um, so I, I had a pretty interesting conversation with them, them the other day. I mean, I just I just want to know what their problem was. Apparently, their problem is they wanted their own forms, which they have. So I don't know why they're still. I don't know. I I think it's I think it's cool. They've given the they've given the phone losers a mortal enemy. <laughs> but we don't care. That's the problem because we're doing our shows and we're doing our thing, and they're the ones calling us. So we're not really doing anything. We're just kind of sitting here taking their calls. But what I find most interesting about the whole entire thing is that um, they were actually the ones that came up with the idea to post Craigslist ads.
for Brad's phone show, thinking it would ruin it, when really all it did was make it better. All <laughs> dropped. But what kind of drink did you get? What kind of drink? I got a Pepsi. Is that what, what was it? A Pepsi. Pepsi. The audio is like cutting out. I'm not sure Pepsi. what you said. Pepsi. 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 Okay. Pepsi. Yeah. So, yep, that's the phone not, winner, phone winner thing. It's not crystal Pepsi, right? No, it's just just regular fucking Pepsi. Um, just anyone else remember that crystal Pepsi? Actually, I I do vaguely remember that. That was one of those like products that was out there. That was out like a year. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was playing Sega Genesis very heavily when it came out. <laughs> so it must have been, um, if you're anything like me, then it was 1999, because I was still playing the Sega Genesis in 99. Yeah, I played mostly a uh, emulation of that. I think I like re- like the hardware that I had stuff working a few years ago. Ah. It was sad when that happened. Does, does that make me old? Because it was like, when I was playing Sega Genesis... The 90s had just started. Yeah, you're pretty fucking old. Actually, I think you're younger than me. Are, are well, the Sega Genesis didn't really, it didn't really come out until the 90s, in North America at least. You know what I just realized? I'm like, I've got two younger men on the phone with me. That would never happen in real life. <laughs> this show. Oh, come on, you're a MILF, Roxy. You can get all the young This show you. has totally changed my life. I just. It's awesome. And, like, I have men that uh, are fans that talk to me on Skype and they end the conversation with, okay, I love you, bye. I'm like, <laughs> wow, okay, love you too. But, yeah, I want to play this next call. It's actually kind of long, um, but it's hilarious. Um, what we did is we looked up for um, for a rude dentist. Oh, this one's, this gets weird quick. <laughs> yes. And at first, you know, you think she's going to hang up. But, uh, nope. No, she she doesn't actually hang up. Um She's and, and, playing along and calling your dick small. <laughs> yeah, the weirder the weirder it gets, the more you think, okay, she's gonna hang up, and you hear like noise in the background, like you think, oh, she just hung up, but no, then she comes back on the line, and she's like, so yeah, you got a small dick. What's the big deal? <laughs> oh my god, I, this is funny. I'm I'm gonna mute us for this one, but um, if we feel like jumping in, we will. That's what she said. It's the inappropriate dentist call. Actually, not inappropriate dentist. Well, yeah, the dentist was inappropriate. The story is the dentist was inappropriate, but so is the lady that answers the phone. Hi, yes. Hi, uh, Hey, yeah, I'm with uh, Sega Genesis. I don't know why the volume is so low on my computer. Is it a temporary crown or the permanent? No, it's a permanent crown. She's all business at first. Oh, he's yeah. having a fractal. Oh, uh, I think he just hung up while we're playing. Oh. Because his connection's really... Right. They would rather not. I, I don't know. His demeanor is really, really rude. What's your name, sir? Let me play a track. Even my girlfriend thought this was funny, and she usually thinks what we do is stupid. <laughs> okay, let me have your name so I can pull out your chart so I can see what would happen. What was done? Um, what was done for you? You start accusing her of like <laughs> gonna write something rude on the chart. I love that. Because I'm a mind ninja. You're <laughs> bitchy patient. <laughs> that's why I would change your name, but I would not write anything in your chart. I just want to understand what was done for you. Okay, well, I am the customer, the customer's always right. <laughs> the customer's always right. <laughs> I don't know, I think we should go live just so we can talk, <laughs> talk over this. I think I can listen to the audio later. Oh, you want to? Not... Yeah, we'll just talk during it. Who gives a shit? They can, they can listen later. Okay. Well, it's not in your mouth. I don't write anything in the chart. I just want to 
better understanding of what was done in your mouth. What, what, was, done, what was done in my mouth? I surprised my mouth open way further than it should have gone. I told him I was in pain. I'd let her do a lot of things in my mouth. <laughs> We'll replay this call for you guys later. We're just going to do, like, uh, some of those... Du- Voiceovers. Yeah, comment over it. So do our five listeners. Fuck you. 22. Holy shit. Well, we love you, but fuck you. And I do. I do. I really... Rob the hyena has really, really tiny little, little baby penis. You, you like my really terrible New York accent I'm trying to do here? No, it's actually pretty, like, pretty decent. I mean, it's it's not the accent that's it's the speed that they talk. They usually talk pretty fast. I'm not sure if he's seen some stuff I need you need for a better understanding. Well, you're the guy doctor. The guy one. Doctor. Well, no, yeah, we have three male doctors. That's why. Like me trying to get information out of her to, to kind of give away who the person was I might have been seeing. I'm not going back to the guy. I just kind of wanted to say this. At this point, I think I'm going to leave it anonymous. Again, I don't want to be some kind of backlash because of it. <laughs> no, definitely not. There's no way that there would be one. Oh, yeah, I just don't want you walking around with a broken crown. That was, that's my only concern. I'm going to go to an, I appreciate the concern, but I'm going to go to another dentist. And, okay. Uh, you know, my wife goes in there, uh, and uh, she has some dental work done. And she's going to still go. She, she goes to the female uh, okay. uh, dentist. And she's going to continue going back, and I don't have a problem with that. But I'm not going back. I, I don't want there to be. Yeah, you'll let your wife have the shitty dentist. No, I reassure you, there's not going to be... But you don't want the shitty dentist. Anybody. I just don't want you... If you had a crown done last week, I don't want you walking around with a broken crown. That's I'm gonna my only concern. I'm going to take care of that myself. Okay. It's the one that... It's the guy who does the... You know, the thinner one with no glasses. I'm sorry, there's one with us? The thinner guy with no glasses. This is me trying to get her to describe what one of them might look like. <laughs> You're like, no, no, we only have three fat guys. <laughs> is he Chinese or he's yeah, vacation? They, no, he's more of an oriental. <laughs> more of an oriental. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess he was, he was Chinese, oriental, something like that. Sure, yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> Are you sure you're calling the right office? Yeah, I'm sure. But, uh, like I said, you need to make fun Fuck you, I know what I'm calling. I don't, I'm sorry, but I don't see that doctor saying anything like to that extent. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I love Asian people. Just so uh, all the listeners know. <laughs> okay. Um, you like to give them little hugs. Another, uh, level. <laughs> don't think that doctor would say anything to that extreme. I'm sorry if you had what experience you had, but you're not giving me your name and there's nothing else I can do for you. This is where I was sure she was going to hang up. I can reassure you that the Asian back here definitely did not say anything to that extreme. Okay, so you think that the, only the white guys would say something? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying because I know him. I know him. I know that doc. He's been here for a while. He when you said inappropriate like schlep, I thought she hung up after you, that. You call man yeah. Well, you hear noises too that sound like hangups, but I'm sorry, this, is not this comes back. Don't see him saying that. Well, if it's not funny, then why are you laughing at him calling my penis small? <laughs> like right there. I thought that was a hangup. Saying something like that. Okay, so okay, so would you see one of the one of the white doctors saying something like? that? Because I was, I was pretty heavily sedated, so maybe I mis, maybe I misheard. Maybe it wasn't him. Maybe one of the other doctors walked in and said, I want to be sedated. Maybe you're calling the wrong office. Well, not, I wasn't, like, under. I was just, you know, all knocked up with Nova. I wasn't, like, you know, Obviously, if I was asleep, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have heard mm-hmm. But I was knocked out from the, from the Nova. Thing. And, and what day of the week were you here? Can you tell me that much? I was there, like, uh, last... 
Okay. So it can't be the Asian doctor because he's not here on Tuesday, so let's try that again. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. She caught me. No. No Asian doctor's here on Tuesdays. Okay. Which one of the doctors do you think would, would, would say I had a panic attack? And none of the doctors. None of the doctors you think would say I had a panic No, none of the doctors. He starts laughing. Here, that my penis is, you know, as big as, as, big as my penis. I'm so sorry, but I, I mean, are you that offended? Like, I don't understand. You're not telling me your name. You're not telling me. Of course, when of course I'm offended. What if I have small genitals? Do you think I'm going to feel good about having a little tiny dick? Do you have a little tiny dick? <laughs> this is where you try to extract how big your tits are. <laughs> well, there's nothing, you know, there's no reason to be offended. All right, well, you know, you got little mosquito tits. Hey, you're tiny. Have a nice day. Do you feel good about yourself? No, your boobs are tiny. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm oh. sorry it offended you to that extreme. Well, well, Unfortunately, okay, well, by yeah. not giving me yeah, your name, I'll there's be, nothing I'll I can do. <laughs> I think you're being quite inappropriate now. No, no, so. you're saying it's okay to have well, you're pulling the doctor stunt on us. <laughs> the doctor stunt. The doctor stunt on us, so called. So if you offended that he exposed your general small, so why would I tell you my boob size so you could start offending me? No. Your boob size. <laughs> I'm bugging your tits. <laughs> no, I'm just saying you keep mentioning it like it's okay. So if you keep mentioning it, then. It's not offending you. I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't understand. It sounds like it is offending you, actually. No, I did not say that. I did not say that. I did not say it was okay to have a small penis. I did not say it was okay to have a small penis. I really think you got the wrong number, sir. Maybe you should call a urologist and speak to them about your small general. <laughs> Even she doesn't say dicks are, tiny dicks are okay. Alright, so if you want to really come, come and show it to me, and I'll tell you if it's small or not, but otherwise <laughs> we can't help you. <laughs> we should call her back and say, does the offer still stand? <laughs> no, sir, that's not what anybody is saying. We should do it during the day. Oh well, yeah, if that's what we need to do. Hey. <laughs> anyway, we can help you. We would be. We would love to help you. Now she can't wait to see it. <laughs> yeah, she wants to. We, um, were you trying to hit? Maybe you were trying to hit on the doctor that you got upset that they said that to you. Maybe I was trying. Well, you know. I do love my wife, but I guess sometimes men do, do, do uh, tickle my pleasure, so maybe, uh, maybe I can send a signal their way. And that's how, really I know, I think that's how it sounds like. I think that's what happened. I think maybe I sent a signal yeah. their way, and then they... Uh, and you they maybe you got it. offended that he didn't respond? Yeah, I, I got offended that Wong didn't like my uh, wang. Oh, now I, I understand. Exactly. Now <laughs> that Wong didn't like my wang. My hmm. doctor doesn't go that way. Oh, well... <clears throat> Yeah. Wow. So you're, so you're, so you're doctors there, uh, men and women, they both prefer big cocks like yourself? <laughs> we don't prefer anything. Well, it sounds like you don't like little dicks. No, your assumption is wrong. Oh, so you do like little dicks. So if I come down and show I'm you, not, you will enjoy Oh, that's not even intention of being in your business. Like I said, if you really want oh, our... so you're a lesbian. So you prefer not to have dicks. <laughs> yeah, either. Well, you asked me if it's... <clears throat> No problem. When you do that, just bring the magnifying glass so I can reassure you if it's small or not. Well, you guys got the goggles there. Well, those goggles, those goggles won't help me. They don't have enough magnifying power. Bring that telescope, please. Sure, someone. I'm sure someone will please you. She can inflate it. I don't know, maybe. Why don't you just come and see? A midge. Apparently, I'm also Jewish. You have a wife, but you have the nerve to speak like this. I don't think you love your wife. 
But well, you're um, contradicting yourself at the moment. You just said you love your wife. Oh, you know what? You're a big fat man. Oh, big fat what? A man to ask. You want a man to ask? I'm fucking sad. Hey, hey, hold the hold, baby. You know, say I got a mouth on me. You got a mouth on me. I show you my dick. I thought for sure she hung up on me when I asked her to blow me. Offended you? You just bored and you wanted to call and just have well, a conversation. I don't think anything, honestly. Yes. So, so that's correct. Don't worry. You can come down here and we'll we'll laugh. we'll have a good laugh at it. Oh, good. That'll be great. All right. All right. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I. I'm sorry, I just put... Oh, now my wife's calling back. His dick? <laughs> we just had to argue your wife. And uh, he goes, call it, call hold it. Hold on one second, Pam. Hold on one second. In fictitious places, Roxy, yes, you're my wife. Oh, the whole thing up. Thank you very much for holding. How can I help you? Yeah, oh, she I sounds like real smart right here. I talked to my husband about seeing his dick, how, and I don't know what's how going on. How can I on. help I you? In the room. I took the phone from him. Oh, call wow. back this number. I'm so glad you called me, ma'am. No, he was actually advertising his small general store. So <laughs> well, you're the one who was going to put it on Craigslist, bitch. He said he's almost his <laughs> wife, and he doesn't mind sharing it with another man. That's, well, that's another that's, man. I came in at the end of the conversation, so I don't, I don't oh. know what's going on. Well, that's, well, you should have heard the whole conversation, then. Do you think that? Do, do you guys have it recorded? We don't have it recorded. Oh, man, I've been trying to... You know what? He's... Shit. Don't worry, we do. He's going to be back in the room pretty soon. <laughs> Hold on. Shit. Okay, so why are you trying to get, see my husband's genitals right now? No, he said, um, I said, maybe you should tell you the story. We don't want to see anybody's genitals. We, we only see teeth. That's what we want to see here. So. See, she is a dyke. She doesn't want to see anybody's dick. Genitals. <laughs> that if you're really that offended and you want someone to give you their personal advice, you could always come down here and someone will give you their personal advice. Well, see, advice. I thought from what he told me, he told me before he called, he told me, Yesterday, that um, the doctor said he had small genitals. So I don't know why you would start talking about his genitals, unless that's really uh, because that's what he called us saying. And um, maybe he showed the doctor it. The doctor wouldn't be able to know that unless he showed it to him. Like I said, we only see teeth here. Look, I'm I'm really kind of confused about this whole thing. Why are you trying to see my husband's genitals? So why does your husband want to show us his genitals? That's the question. I, I don't know. I said so why don't you I, ask him and figure out what he wants to do? And you can no, I don't, I don't want to ask him. I just got into an argument with him over it and kicked him okay, out of the room. Well, that seems like a personal problem. That's a family issue. No, we the, have the personal to problem is some lady at an office is trying to get my husband to show his genitals. Nobody's enough, trying to get, no. No, 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 you don't understand. I have enough problems with this guy trying to show his genitals to everyone that you should not. Uh, why are you laughing? Because it is pretty funny that your husband wants to show his dental to the whole world. Maybe you should take care of him. No, it's not. I just, I'll show you my ass on cam, baby. It's not <laughs> my fault he has a little penis. Okay, it's not my fault. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. No, 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 no. You're not. I don't have enough megapixels to show you my dick. Um, you were egging <laughs> him on. You were agreeing with him and making him feel better. I'm sorry, him. ma'am. We cannot speak any longer. If you have any complaints, you can write a letter to our boss. Or, I mean, take care of your husband. That's all I can they, tell you. No. <laughs> she tells you to blow me. <laughs> she hung up. And didn't she say, like, just take care of your husband? Yeah, she was basically saying, if you fuck him more often, maybe he wouldn't need to show his genitals off everywhere. Well, um, thanks, everyone, for listening to our little after show, which uh, we are going to actually pass off as the real show. <laughs> and, uh... Just kind of cut out all the crap in the middle. If you want to hear some subway calls, there'll be more coming uh, after I edit them because I do have a life, you know. Uh, go to wait. I Pirate... never got laid. <laughs> go I... to go to shut up. <laughs> go to piratesofthesoftware dot com slash uh, audio slash pranks slash subway. Or just go to slash audio and choose you can click through it i think just go to pirates of the com. you can dig around all you like yeah fuck around on there and yeah 
Good night, everyone. We have like 15 listeners, so don't go away, 15 listeners. I'm going to play a bunch of cool shit. Bye. Good night, Rob. Oh, I got to play my outro. It's not complete. Play the outro, Roxy. Outro. All right. Play us out. Let's go. That's what I'm going to do. God bless. Yep. You can't tell, but I'm on my cam, dancing around like a monkey to this. I can't tell, because you're not doing it. Shut up, they don't know that. Outro. Goodbye, everyone. Fun show. What was my website? CactiRadio.com slash fun show. I'm going to put a whole bunch of new calls up there every every week. I've got school ending, and I've got no life. So, I'll have a tough yeah. time. I'll, I'll give Roxy a bunch, a bunch too. Laugh Track and I have done done a whole bunch. So either they'll go, either they'll go on the fun show or they'll go on the phone show. But look forward to seeing us uh, get back to the Roadway Inn where we originally talked to people about their killer robots. Oh yes, and also um, I'm gonna edit one to two phone calls per day. Finals week is next week. After that, all summer long, one to two phone calls a day unless I'm out of town or I have a life. Like maybe I go somewhere over a weekend. So, anyway, good night everyone. Have fun.